We spend most of our lives working just to go on brief vacations. One day, the uh, foreman came up to me and started getting into me. I walked out the door, and I never looked back. But what if you could turn vacation into a full-time job? I realize it's easier to get sand out of your ear than snow out of your driveway. These travelers made their fantasies into reality. Got home to my wife, and I said, that's it. Let's pack the stuff up. We're selling everything. We're out of here. Wheels or keels are no deals for me. I'm a rolling stone, man. Escape to paradise now, because life's a beach. Get the order on table one. When Jeff and Justine moved to Panama, they brought their favorite food with them, tacos. We realized there was a big lack for quality Mexican food, and so we filled that void here in Bocas de Toro that they didn't have. We're living in San Diego, California, overworked and unsatisfied. All right, guys, one provecho. We moved to Panama. To open this. Order up. Jeff and Justine crafted a custom menu for paradise. Got one Baja taco combo. Doing what they want, when they want, at their tropical taco shop in Bocas del Toro, Panama. This is a map of Bocas del Toro. Mainland Panama is down here. It's only a couple miles off the coast of Panama. There's about eight islands. And this is Bocas Town. This is where our restaurant is right here. Buenas, amigo. Hay pescado? Hey. It's a beautiful small community here, so everybody knows each other. It's kind of like, I would say, the U.S. in the 50s or the 60s. With more than 350 islands dotting its Caribbean coast, Panama is on island time all the time. The average work week here is less than 30 hours, and most businesses close for a little noon siesta. Uh, Como estas? Living in Bocas del Toro, Work doesn't control our daily lives. It doesn't consume our daily lives. We can take a few hours off and go hit the beach. Water's 82 degrees all year round. It's like Hawaii, but much less people. A lot of people say there's two times here in Bogus, daytime and nighttime. That's right. <laughs> but time wasn't always on their side. Back in 2012 in San Diego, I was working 12 hours a day for a healthcare company. I was unfulfilled, unsatisfied. I was in the fashion industry for many years. Spend probably two or three hours a day sitting in traffic. The epiphany moment for me really was driving back from Los Angeles with a broken air conditioner. Got home to my wife and I said, that's it. Let's pack the stuff up. We're selling everything. We're out of here. That was it. We decided that we wanted to live our dream rather than follow the American dream. So Jeff and Justine escaped to where they had been the happiest, the tropical beaches of Bocas del Toro. Jeff and I came here on vacation, and we came to this little island here. And spontaneously, I got down on my knees at the water's edge and asked Justine if she wanted to spend the rest of her life with me. <laughs> we went to a jewelry shop, and we got ourselves some $2 coconut rings. Any more? fell in love with the community. We knew that we had to be here. We sold the car. We got rid of the house. Uh, everything that, you know, the TVs, the big screens. We probably had a yard sale every weekend for three yeah. months straight. We did. I mean, we had so much we crap. We didn't realize how much stuff we had. Yeah. They had the money to make the move. And lucky for them, finding a home in Bocas is a breeze. Nearly 80% of the island is English speaking, and that's not all. They use the US dollar here. Expenses in were half. cut in half. Our house is a tree house, basically. We're on stilts. It's very simple. Surrounded by tropical plants, birds, howler monkeys, very peaceful. Bocas had everything they dreamed of, except their favorite food. When we moved to the island, there was a major void for quality Mexican food. So we decided to do it ourselves. We had a lot of Californians here, a lot of surfers. And Mexican food is surf food. And so we, uh, we bring a little bit of California, a little bit of Baja California um, to our customers. 
And Jeff and Justine found the perfect location to ride the wave of hungry surfers craving their Cali import. We started scouting out locations. Mono Loco Surf School just happened to have a little opening where there used to be a coffee shop. It was the perfect space for us. We got one Baja taco combo. To get taco surf up and running, it didn't take us a lot of time. It took us three weeks. They had the chicken quesadilla. Yep. It's not like the States, having a small restaurant, you're allowed to sell beer and wine, so we didn't have to jump through the big hoops and get an expensive liquor license. There you go. Probably a third of what we would have paid uh, in the yeah. U.S. to operate a small restaurant. The food here at Taco Surf's like primo. It's really good. I come here about four times a week. Um, <laughs> I don't mean to, but it's so good. <laughs> Some people put their first dollar bill up on the wall after we sold our first burrito. We put our California license plate on the wall. Did we make the right decision moving to a small tropical island? We touch this sometimes and say, yes, we did make the right decision. It's going to be $25 you know. Panama may run on the US dollar, but down in Bocas, the barter system is alive and well. So Jeff and Justine opened a thrift shop where surfers can actually trade in their trunks for tacos. Uh, it's Cute. Yeah. It's very flowy. Bocas del Toro is a backpacker town. And a lot of people, they come here right before they go back home, and they have a lot of clothes, a lot of items that they want to sell. Como estas? Quiero cambiar la ropa por comida. This one looks good. They'll literally trade their board shorts in for a couple tacos out the door to get them back to Panama City. Bikinis always sell. So I'll take this. Great. I was thinking about $40 food credit. Would that work Perfect. for you? But I'll use that T-shirt, and we'll get vegetables exactly. or fish. And we build our menu around that. How's it do? Gracias. We're using lionfish, and we also had red snapper and mahi-mahi. Amazing taste, buttery, flavorful, especially with our homemade marinades. Good vibe, nice chilled, good people. That's all you need. Tired of the traffic, Jeff and Justine traded up for Bocas del Toro, where it's taco time 24-7. This is exactly why we moved here to Bocas del Toro. The restaurant full of people, great music, good drinks flowing. We're blessed to have so many amazing people around us and meeting new friends every day. We're from San Diego, California, but this is now our home in Bocas del Toro. This is where my heart is. <laughs>